Hey everybody, today I want to share with you a secret, a secret that will allow you to increase your sales in a very small period of time. This is specifically designed for those who do sales, one-on-one -on -one interactions, speak in front of groups, or basically do any sort of lead generating. So if you know someone, be sure to comment, put their name down below, and more videos like this on sales, relationship building, networking, and uniting your team, as well as that number one obstacle, you know the one that gets between your ears. For more videos like that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. For now though, this video is specifically designed for sales. And not only just sales, but accountability to numbers. But first, let me tell you why this video came up. See, there's a number of people who asked for this. Uh, about a week ago, I was giving a presentation and I was teaching my business, uh, my business success formula. And it's a very simple formula that allows you to see from a big picture what is working in your business and what is not. All right, and in there, there's a one line. One of these steps within the business success formula in which I was teaching is accountability. Now this is uh, specifically accountability to numbers, sales numbers. It's also accountability to your team, accountability to the context, the environment, accountability to following the process and everybody being on the same page. There's a lot of different levels with it. I'm not gonna go into that here though. For now, we're gonna focus on accountability to numbers. So to do this, I brought my trusty iPad we're just gonna put the video up on the screen. Perfect. And so what I wanna share with you is the secret, the, the strategy to drastically increase your sales without increasing the amount of time that you spend now. All right, would you like that? All right. So let's take a look. Let's say, for example, you are an insurance agent, financial, or anybody who generates leads, whether you're networking, generating leads offline through Facebook ads or Google ads, whatever it may be. This is all applicable. You're just gonna change the order in which you use it, all right? So the first goal, if you were to do a, okay, let's try a five-step sales cycle, all right? This is a standard one. Pick up the phone, I'm gonna make a call. That's step one, all right? Step two is you answer your phone. That means I connect. On the phone, I'm gonna ask you some questions. I'm gonna learn what you want, what you need, what's gonna benefit you, what it is you are looking for, what will have the biggest impact in your business. For this, we call that the discover. Or maybe, in this point, is where I set the appointment so that we can grab a coffee so I can learn about your wants and needs. From there, once I know what you want and what you need, I'm gonna make the pitch. And if I do a good job, I've earned your trust, you've gotten to know me, you've gotten to like me, maybe then I have made a sale, right? Now that's one sales cycle. That's a very simple five-step sales cycle. If you're a restaurant or you're retail, it might be the number of people that come into your establishment. Two might be the, the number of times whether you're able to actually have the conversation and talk to them and serve them. Three might be whether they tried something on. Four might be if they bought. All right. If you were in a different business, let's say you're in a tech company or you're web-based or you do advertising online, call might be the number of people who see your ad, connect would be the number of people who clicked on it, uh, appointment discover would be those who read your landing page, actually stayed on your landing page and submitted their email or clicked the button to find out more. The pitch would be they fill out the form and the sale would be that they actually paid you after they filled out the form and all the applications and you can track that every step of the way. So here's the secret. Are you ready for this? The secret is that most businesses might, might, they might track this number here. Maybe they might track the calls, they might track the impressions, they might track the number of people that come in the door. Not always though. They also might track the number of sales. I would hope at the very, very least, you're tracking how much money you're making. I would hope at the very least you're tracking that. So the secret to increasing your sales, are you ready for this? Is to get very clear on what your sales cycle is. If this is a five step sales cycle, right? all five steps, from this information, I can learn a lot of detail on how to best help your business, how to exponentially grow your income. Because most people, if they want to make more money, not that anybody ever wants that, right? Most people think in order to make more money, we got to generate more what? Yeah, leads, clients, people coming through the door. But how would you like a better way? Here, let me show you. I'll give you an example. 
let's say we have a few team members on our team. Let's say we have Winston, we have Emily, uh, Dominic, and we have Jason, all right? Now let's say we're only tracking sales. Let's say uh, Winston is making, let's say Winston has made four sales this week. Emily has made three. Dominic's made two. Jason has made zero, all right? Let's just say, for example, you would think that Winston is the superstar here, right? Especially if this was directly related to 1K per sale or 2Ks per sale, right? Winston look, would look like the superstar. But then let's say we were tracking your other numbers. Let's say we were tracking our calls. And in order to make those calls, Winston was making 20 calls. Right? Emily, however, was making 50. Dominic was making 100. And Jason was also making 20. Yeah. Well, great. So it looks like, again, that Winston is the superstar. 20 calls, four sales, really has it going on, right? Really knows his stuff. Dominic, however, not doing very well. Jason, he's done in horrible. You can see right now he either needs to be fired or needs to get some serious sales training, one or the other, because he probably, likely, has something going on up here that has him too nervous to pick up the phone in the first place. So just by tracking that number, that call number, now you can see what some of the obstacles. See how you're starting to get some clarity? right? You can see that Jason needs some help. It's either right here or he's just not a good team member altogether. So you either need to let him go or you need to train him and start focusing on the number one obstacle holding him back. All right. So that's what we've got so far. But what about these other stages? Why is it so important to track every step? Well, here's why. If we're looking at Winston and he made 20 calls, got to get, he reached 18 people. He had 16 discoveries and he made 15 pitches, right? That would be his numbers. Well, Emily, however, she's made 50 calls. She connected with 10. She only did the discovery with, uh, let's say five, made four pitches and made three sales. Then there's Dominic, out of that, Dominic is 100. He's connected with 80 of them. He's done 70 discoveries. He's made uh, 65 pitches and he's made two sales. Jason, like I said, his numbers aren't very good. He's called 20, he's probably connected with 10. He might have discovered eight, may have made two pitches and zero sales. Well, now we start to see the truth on how do we help our team? How can we make the biggest difference in our team's effort or our own, because you should be tracking yours as well, especially if you're doing sales. But now we can see firsthand how we can drastically help our team. So let me show you what I mean. Dominic, uh, Winston, for example, he was our stale salesman. 20 calls, four sales. Now that I have this data, I know how to be rich. If these four sales made 100,000 each, and I wanted to make, so he made 400,000 in sales, I know it's a big number, but I wanted to achieve 80, 800,000 in sales, Winston just needs to make 20 more calls. 40 calls, that doubles our income. We can see that, statistically it's proven week after week. But the other thing we can see is what Winston's weakness is. Winston's biggest challenge is right here. Even though he does a great job calling people, he calls the right people, he connects with them, he discovers their need, and he makes a pitch. Phenomenal! But he's got a very low close ratio compared to all of his other stats, which means if we can figure out why only four out of the 15 are actually closing, we can drastically increase our income without changing anything else we do, without increasing our administration staff, without increasing the amount of time we spend, without spending any more money on advertising. One little t tweak here, and you know Winston's a rock star, so you know he's gonna catch on. One little tweak drastically increases the income, right? Well, what else do the numbers tell us? Well, here, look at this. Emily, 50 calls, she's killing, she's trying hard, she's working at it, but she's only connecting with 10 people. Well, if we were to help Emily, it has nothing to do with Emily's skill. Because if you look at her, she's a hard closer. Four people who were pitched, three closed. That's incredible. But if you give her more leads, you're going to bog her down with time. She's not going to have the time to serve those clients and to follow up properly. So the best way to help Emily is to figure out who are the 50 you're calling. Are they the right people? Is it the right audience? 
the right list. She's a powerhouse when it comes to connecting, discovering their needs, making them hitch and closing them. So you wanna put her in front of the right people. And again, increase up through the roof. Everybody understand, yes? So look at it, let's look at Dominic. What does Dominic need help with? What is his biggest challenge? It's clear as day, he's a great connector, he's a great people person. He has a similar challenge as Winston, right? It's his clothes, except for he's probably new. His clothes is his biggest challenge. There's probably something going on for him. Either he's a, it's too much money and he's got this price issue in his head, maybe he has a concern, maybe he's like most salespeople and talks himself into and out of the sale, right? Ever been there? Ever been ready to buy and the salesperson keeps talking? Maybe I've done it already. Remember, if you like videos like this, if you've gotten content and value, be sure to tag someone down below who does sales, someone who would benefit from this information. Please put their name down below. Like, comment, and subscribe for great business videos, both personally and professionally. Didn't want to miss that sales pitch. All right, so look at Dominic. If you can look at that one small tweak, figure out what is going on for him in that close percentage, you can fix that. Jason, however, Jason has a whole thing going on. So like I said, that is either he doesn't care or there's a fear going on. And this is how you can really increase the sales with very little effort. Because each one of these steps, the key to these steps is you take the step one step at a time, right? It's one step at a time and you master those numbers. You increase the benefits. But if you can see that, if you can see what these numbers are telling you, then you get this, they tell you a story. And that is how you can drastically increase your income and increase your results without spending extra money, time, energy, effort. So I'm sorry, this is just the beginning. I can go into this in more detail and show you how this works with campaigns. If you were to compare, if you were to go networking, for example, one event versus the other, I can show you how you can apply these numbers individually. So if you're a single person, solopreneur, you're trying to build your business and you have leads coming in from multiple directions, I can break that down. Actually, we go into a lot more detail than this in our Results Accelerator program is a great way. I just wanted to show you big picture the importance of tracking your numbers. So in short, be sure to get very, very clear on what your sales cycle is. What is it? Step by step by step. And track those numbers every step of the way so you can see the results. And for your team to track those numbers so you can see how you can best help them, serve them, and support them. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.